actually she sort of gave in. <laughs> Extraordinary people, women. You can't expect a high-spirited girl to say yes to an emissary. This is 1922. <sighs> Not in Buckingham Palace, it isn't. <laughs> Have you seen Bertie? He drops in. I think in the hope of seeing you. Oh, dear. He's terribly sweet, Elizabeth. I think he's much the nicest of the brothers. Yes, he is. Do I want to be the king's daughter-in-law? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be rather like winning crafts? Actually, wave rather well. And he's only Duke of York. You don't have to wear a crown or anything. Elizabeth. I've asked you to marry me. You haven't asked me. You simply put out feelers, like an insect. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Bertie, we, we can't communicate through third parties for the rest of our lives. We'll end up writing notes to each other and passing them down the table. That would never do. You wouldn't be able to read my handwriting. Oh, Bertie. <laughs> I'm asking you to marry me, Elizabeth. Just don't imagine I'm going to ask you again. You can be quite decisive when you want to be, can't you? <sighs> Of course, I'll marry you. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to stop behaving like that. What on earth are you doing? It's from under the spreading chestnut tree. <laughs> My boys and I do the camp. Go. You're ridiculous. You're quite ridiculous. Yes, I am. I'm ridiculous. And serious. And decisive. And indecisive. I'm frightfully humble and terribly, terribly proud. Hmm. Hath not the prince arms? Hath not the prince eyes? Doth not the violet smell as sweet to him as it does to you? I don't think that's quite how it goes, but you do speak it beautifully. When I'm with you, I do speak beautifully. Bloody. Why have you been abroad? Listening to jazz? Drinking cocktails? Where will it end? The train you're lending me for the wedding, ma'am, it's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. It belonged to somebody. Not Anne of Cleves. Someone along those lines. Hmm. What is that fat woman from Saxe Coburg Gotha, my dear? My feeling, sir, is that the wedding of these two young people, the Duke and Duchess of York, should be filmed, if that is thought appropriate, but not allowed to be recorded over the wireless. If people might listen to it in inappropriate places. <laughs> what exactly do you mean by that? Public houses, for example. They might also not remove their hats at solemn moments. Why this obsession with ritual? Monarchy is ritual. Boy. That's why. Doing things in the prescribed manner. You've read your budget. Monarchy is magical. And you can't let daylight in upon a magic. Little by little, the... Newspaper boys, the wireless boys, they'll be flashing their cameras and poking their microphones under your noses and one morning you'll wake up and there won't be any magic. There won't be any monarchy either. 
<clears throat> this is a serious matter, David. There was an unfortunate photograph of you in the newspapers the other day, wearing what they referred to as bell-bottoms. <coughs> it won't do. I thought Bertie might wear his RAF dress uniform. Thoroughly appropriate, my dear. But we must withdraw, Elizabeth, and make plans. There's no fun talking about weddings when there are men present. <clears throat> Marriage, my boy. Take a leaf out of Bertie's book. Don't stand around drinking cocktails looking like a wet weekend. Get married. Happy where you are, Bertie. And where am I? In the middle, of course. <laughs> Seriously, though. First class performance. You? Quite superb. Audible. Very, very audible. Here you in China. First class groom. I'm so happy, Bertie. What? What? Happy, your son. He looked wonderfully happy that he was getting married. Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. We well, better take your picture now, instead of lurking around inside that bag. Otherwise, we'll all go off the boil. Try not to look as if this is the Battle of Jutland. Did you? He's taking it now. A foggy day greets the Duke and Duchess of York as they arrive at Wembley for the final day of the British Empire exhibition. The stadium is full to its utmost capacity, and the crowd gives the Duke a warm welcome as he inspects the guard of honor. Turn down the music. Your brother is about to make a fool of himself. Not to be mixed. Turn it down. I'm sure Bertie will do very well. <laughs> The royal couple have delighted everyone on their public engagements since the triumph of the wedding. And this occasion... This truly magnificent stadium has played host to an exit. The past day, and they've heard. The sentiments of the Duke will surely echo the feelings in the hearts of many of this happy crowd. It is a long time since... Just wait till he starts to speak. And the warmth and friendship... You mark my words. Stay with us for months. Now, here is His Royal Highness. All of us here today for the. British Empire Exhibition are only too aware. Great nations have much to learn from each other. They... can profit by each other's example and set the standards and courses of mutual... He was putting splints as a child to cure his knock knees. I do believe I can hear them knocking. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely refused to see some quack. The last one was insane. I stammer because it... Makes you more attractive. I refuse to see any more quacks. You won't stick pins in you. I really draw the line at talking about potty training. I'm sure he won't raise the subject unless you do. Lionel Logue, sir. Mr. Logue. I never discuss potty 